در پدویی ناله چه پدویی هی به نامی پدویی دناشا با چو کابوجه ای ندانا On with the dance. Now chase the glowing hours with flying feet. No sleep till morn when movie makers meet to film at midnight on a Slovak village street. The morning sky that ends their day starts it for others far away. Good Wenceslas, still guarding there, Jan Hus, the martyr in Prague Square. And the twelve apostles in the tower warn the modern Czechs, tis waking hour. Five a.m. in North Bohemia. Joseph Rosinek, master artisan in glass and crystal. His wife Gerda. Stop it. Joseph and Gerda Rosinek both work at the same plant, the famous Novi Bohr works, as does their daughter Sonia, a 19-year-old designer. Sonia! 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 Stave! Joseph's creations have won many state prizes and are much in demand abroad in countries where he has never been able to travel. The Rosinek's flat is the upper story of a house once owned by his mother who now lives downstairs, a short peaceful walk to work for 6 a.m. Eastward in Moravia, the village of Chekovitsa. The widow Sasvantova has one daughter who comes home on weekends to the family cottage. Mondays, Yarmula travels some 70 kilometers by bus and commuter train to be at work by 5.30. Friendships are very important, but marriage is far in the future. Yarmala gives money to her mother each pay and also is saving for her dowry. But a decent flat for a young couple means four to six years on a waiting list, so there's no hurry to get serious.
Vasek Schwetz must also rise early. It's harder for a five-year-old, but he has to make nursery school before six o'clock. His father, Václav, his mother, Hermana, and his ten-year-old sister, Marcella, have all been up before him preparing for regular school and work. The Schwetz are proud of their comfortable one-bedroom apartment, but both parents must work to have a reasonable standard of living, and that doesn't include babysitters. Like all institutions, the nursery school is state-owned and is part of the operations of the nearby pencil factory where Mr. and Mrs. Schwetz work. Formerly the mansion of the factory owner, the building now serves 60 children with a staff of 10 women, including domestic help. The teachers are professionally trained in the Karl Orff method of musical instruction. Parents of all the children must work at the pencil factory. Offices, however, don't start until 8, and in cities like Prague, the morning streets are crowded with white-collar workers, students, shoppers, visitors, casual pedestrians, and the still sleepy night shift. usually breakfast late, and around 9.30 they can be seen in the restaurants and cafes. This American family includes a face famous all over the world of sport, together with his wife and daughter. A native son, Stan Mikita, returning home to a family gathering in Slovakia. At the Balustrade Theater in Prague, Ladislav Fialka has his world famous pantomime group sweating in rehearsal by 10 o'clock. I hope that pantomime is very good art for me. 
I am uh, lazy to learn from languages. My <laughs> English is very bad, my French is bad, my German is bad, my Russian is bad. And uh, it's very good for me to make something without language. When I was in Montreal in Canada, I have played very difficult places, uh, drama without languages, and all peoples are understand me, French, Canadian, uh, English, Canadian, without problems. Uh, in this moment are only the peoples in audience and we as peoples on the stage. And I hope that's the first thing in our life to be uh, peoples. That's not interesting if we are Czech or Russian or German or Canadian. We all are peoples and we have only one language, that the language of our heart. High quality Koh Noor pencils polished by Mrs. Schwetz for export to 26 countries, including Canada. A jak jste ti dělají ty pipí? Ano, dobře. Ano? Máte to na značky? Dobře, všechno. At the Schwitt Works, formerly owned by Bata, Jarmela works on fancy quality women's winter boots for export only to Canada and other northern countries. For amusement, the Czechs often put their own words to foreign songs. Today, at the Novi Bor works, it's turtles for Joseph Rossinek. Tomorrow, perhaps, hedgehogs, frogs or crystal fish. Men of his degree of craftsmanship work only to order. Short runs of special designs. They are inheritors of a centuries-old tradition, working all their lives in the same place, often where their fathers worked before them. Since 1948, new plant investment has been directed more towards heavy industry by state policy. The agricultural cooperatives, like farmers everywhere, work as the seasons and crops dictate. Many collectives specialize, but the New Life farm around Kachitsa in central Bohemia is suited to mixed farming and is considered to be one of the more successful collectives. Pivo, beer, the Czech national beverage. Each good sized collective has a general manager and an agronomist or scientific agriculturalist to supplement the farmer's traditional knowledge. I work in the community since 1959, that means 8 years. 
He's been here about eight years since graduating from agricultural school at Brno. Has a wife and two daughters. They like it here fairly well. The farm has 3,600 acres, just over 50% in cereals, wheat, barley, oats and rye. The rest in fodder plants, sugar beets, potatoes and other vegetables such as strawberries. The livestock section breeds cattle, pigs and horses and keeps bees. There is a machinery section to maintain all the tractors, carts and harvesters. They have a management committee which meets weekly to coordinate the varied work and plan ahead. Grain yield on the average 3400 weight per acre, hay almost twice that, vegetables of course much higher and they hope to do better. State Castle. Klubaka in South Bohemia. Seven hundred years of history surround today's summer tourists. Come to see how the other half once lived. Glazed china stoves tended from the rear by servants inside the walls. Portraits of the Schwarzenbergs. The Duchess Pauline accidentally burned to death at a ball in Paris in 1830. Dutch Rococo cabinet of the 18th century, walnut inlaid with ivory, tortoise shell and precious metals. Several dozen Delft china miniatures hung about a hand-painted Gothic ceiling framing a crystal chandelier of the 19th century. Time sometimes hung heavy on aristocratic hands. Its passage, therefore, was made more amusing. In 144 rooms, 15,000 precious things, enough in one family's hunting lodge to flood the antique markets of the world. This is only a small entrance hall or waiting room, and most of the real treasures lie beyond. In Krumlov Castle nearby, an 18th century prince summoned a painter from Vienna to create a hall of masks where entertainments might be held. 
Nechme ho o samotě rozím, ať chudák, jak si uzdál, může spát. Ať spí, jak městský floutek po bálu. Now it's a people's summer theater. Chtějí mít svůj rozum, vlastní mínění, v podrážděného lva se promění. Najdi však notu k jeho písničce, buď poražena v každé potičce a hle, ať rozum tvůj ho nezastí. The secrets of how to manage men in an age when women theoretically had no power of their own. Maiden Promises by Alexandra Fredro, a 200-year-old drawing room comedy, much in the style of Sheridan. Everyone, of course, will wind up married, but never to the one they started off to chase. <laughs> the South Bohemian Theatre Ensemble one of the state repertory companies located in every good-sized town. There are 32 professional groups in Prague alone. sun is high and hot. The pools of the Podoli Swimming Club in Prague are busy with vacationers, including Stan Mikita of the Chicago Blackhawks. We have enough grounds here for close to 5,000 people. There's probably that many people here today. Pretty, pretty damn close yeah. to it. Hello. Hi, Louis. Hello, Chief. How are Hi, you? Hi, Louis. How are you? Thank you. See you. And how are you? Fine, thank you. And here's our general secretary. Uh, Cisarowski of Sparta, manager. General manager of the Sparta Athletic Club of Prague. Oh, very nice. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Od Sparty, a Sparta klubu. From Sparta organization and for you. Oh, Old thank you very track. much. Yes. No, he, he looks a little bit like Tommy uh, Ivan, our yeah. general manager. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, you're getting too old for that. <laughs> Wherever international hockey players meet, it's the same topic. Yeah. How good are the Russians this year? He won't be uh, better than NHL teams, yes. This is his idea, uh -huh. yes. And he have very new progressive training methods, practices, yes. And they're working, 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 yes. Well, what, what do you think? Uh, when, we, when we want with him competition, yes, we must working. Uh, like, Just as yes, harder, harder. Yes, harder, yeah. harder, harder, harder. No, yes, but I mean, and, uh, I mean uh, Canadians Europe. and uh, the Toronto Maple Leafs, the Montreal Canadiens. Montreal yeah, Canadiens. How, how do you think they would compare against your national team here or against the Russians or a team like Chicago? Yes, I think that is very difficult because you have different rules. Different rules. Yes. That's yes. what I said yes. the other day. Yes. Yeah. It's uh, the same. Yeah, we, we, uh, we, we don't know f fighting here, yes. Yeah. We, it's, it's impossible. You haven't if run I across any John Ferguson, uh, with eh? you, yes, and okay. fight, is, <laughs> fight is impossible here, yes. If I will have fight, I have um, three weeks penalty. <laughs> I couldn't believe uh, the importance that the people put on uh, the hockey player. I would be walking around downtown in Chicago and a few of the people might say hello and uh, you know what happened in the playoffs and so on, but uh, here it's, uh, it's almost like uh, worshiping God if you're a hockey player. Uh, I can't seem to take two steps without people recognizing me and I'm 5,000 miles from home. Come on out here. <laughs>
June 10, 1942, the village of Lidjetsa, all male inhabitants massacred, all women and children deported to Germany. The village obliterated by Nazi SS troops in savage reprisal for Czech resistance. international monument and rose garden protesting forever the evils of fascism and the sorrows of a small country which has many times been occupied by powerful and ruthless neighbors. In a state limousine, the famous number 21 of the Blackhawks heads eastward toward Slovakia and home, towards the family from which circumstances separated him as a small boy, towards the mountains, pastures and villages he has never forgotten. journey back in time for Stan Mikita, for his wife Jill and daughter Meg, a first look at the ancient heartland of Central Europe. The scenery of the country is absolutely beautiful. There are oh, mountains, just numerous mountains, and it's a rolling country, and it's, extre it's extremely green, it's rich, it would, could be rich in agriculture, I would imagine, and the castles, well, this is something that is dear to me because I'd never seen, really seen a castle before. And Czechoslovakia has numerous, numerous, by that I say, I believe they have a thousand castles. These are symbols that have never been touched, have never been destroyed. And the people live for these, or they don't live for these, but they know that this was their background. And I honestly believe that these castles will always stand, only being destroyed by weather. They actually will never be removed under normal circumstances. The people will never destroy them. first time I ever saw this warmth between people, this amount of warmth between the same sex, male or female, has been here. I've always seen it in a mixed situation. We saw this quite often. Let's say two girls on, on bicycles riding down the road, and they would be holding hands. A feeling of friendliness and uh, admiration and uh, sincerity between the two people. It meant nothing more than this, and it's quite... It's lovely to see because we never see it at home. We would probably frown upon it if we saw it at home. It is amazing to see the amount of women in their workforce here. As you drive along a highway or a road, the women are in the fields pitching hay, or they are driving the cattle, or they are 
tending the sheep. And every woman works, which is something that I myself, as an American, and I'm sure many Canadian women, would not be able to understand this, that many times we find it difficult to maintain our home, let alone working. Due to the fact that, that the women work and the men work, and the children, actually, everyone works here. I honestly believe that there's greater unity amongst, I mean, everyone is the same. Everyone is practically on the same level. And I believe that the people get along beautifully together. They're all working toward the same thing. Midsummer holiday and folk festivals in many towns. most modern thinking of nations takes care to preserve its past as part of its cultural survival. Start work at 5, 5.30 or 6. Finish at 1, 1.30 or 2. No regular lunch hour, just refreshment breaks at the factory canteen. If you have to work this hard, the Czechs prefer to do it early. In winter, the mornings are rough, but the long afternoons are precious in summer. Half an hour to go at Novi Bor. Ornamental crystal for foreign exhibitions, such as Expo. Flasks. Flying fish. And the famous matched brandy snifters of Bohemia. It's been a long, hot day. Beer goes well, and light grades are available in most factory canteens. Even better for the younger apprentices, a frolic with the girl helpers in the plant reservoir. Oh, 
good to be young again. Rasinek and his old friends will soon be working in a large modern installation built nearby under a construction agreement with the Yugoslavs. During the week, Yarmula lives in a dormitory near her work. There is no cafeteria, but several separate kitchens, so the girls shop and cook together in groups of friends. Besides being sold abroad, the heavy industrial products of Czechoslovakia are traded by the state for consumer products from the other socialist countries. The average Czech often complains that the trading methods are clumsy and that the ratios of exchange are disadvantageous for him. In the state stores, price and quality are controlled. Few competing brands, no competitive packaging, but little variety of choice and sometimes erratic supply. Those without adequate home refrigeration shop every day. At Gottwaldorf, Mikita is invited to work out with the national hockey team. They seem to train 11 and a half or almost 12 months of the year, which uh, is unbelievable by uh, Canadian standards. I really don't think that the hockey players should train for as long as they do. Uh, they seem to get sick and tired of it. I know I talked to a few of the boys and they, they seem to think that it's really too much. Actually, uh, they're on the ice uh, two weeks out of every month in the summertime, and this gets to be a bore with uh, everybody concerned, including the coaches. You're not taking the ball away, are you? As far as the caliber of hockey, uh, I really don't think that the Czechs could compete with the uh, let's say uh, Toronto Maple Leafs or the Montreal Canadiens, but a few of the boys on the club could actually play in the National Hockey League. They're not allowed to smoke, they're not allowed to drink. Uh, I th imagine some of them have a beer now and then, but uh, they're in terrific shape. The longer the game goes on, the stronger they get. Uh, I think they might give us a little trouble as far as conditioning goes. In the well, they uh, they have their own problems in uh, uh, life, just the same as we do in Canada and the States. Uh, maybe they're magnified a little more over here. Uh, they don't have the luxuries. And this is an escape for them uh, to go to a hockey game, scream and holler and uh, shout their heads off. Whereas uh, we in Canada are interested more in uh, 
different things rather than hockey. Uh, but the people in Montreal and Toronto, they, uh, it's quite a, ri a rivalry between those two cities. And uh, it's the same here between uh, Bratislava and Prague, let's say. Now, they, uh, uh, they come on like gangbusters when they play each other. And uh, also, uh, speaking of uh, international uh, competition uh, between the Russians and the uh, Czechs, it's, uh, it's a great rivalry between these two countries, uh, one trying to outdo the other. In Prague, a matinee by Fialka's company. Checkmate, the finer points of chess in a busy cafe. Belvedere, 
the former Royal Summer Pavilion on the heights above Prague. to Sokolsa, where nothing seems changed, but as with all of us, everything has changed. Oh, 
Anyone would have to agree that the people were absolutely out of this world. They were the most friendly, warm people you could ever meet anywhere. They couldn't do enough for you, and you could do nothing to repay them. I'm sure that their their past tradition or their, has to have something to do with their warmth and their understanding of people from another country. too many of us Americans and Canadians who come to foreign countries where we are the foreigner and we do not speak their language. We always feel that we can find someone that will speak our language, which is not the way it should be. We should have the, the initiative to learn the language of the country we're going to visit. These people have been so understanding of me and have tried to help me in so many ways that I am slowly but surely picking up their language in the short time I've been here. And it's only through their warmth and their understanding that I could do it. Eight o'clock to bed for Vasek and Chesky Budjevice. His sister gets to stay up until nine, finishing her homework. Tati. No. Co je to Koran? Koran, co se? Daddy, what is the Koran? Ukaž, co to má? No, to je něco jako si u nás Bible, víš? It's a kind of an Arab Bible. Tady je to nějak. Václav collects and writes down folk songs as a hobby. At Gottwaldorf, a bedtime treat for the dormitory. The husband of one of the girls, away on his compulsory army service, has sent her a birthday present. The Czechs believe old loves are best, though oft deceived, they still look west. My bunny is so worthy ocean. My bunny is so worthy the sea. My bunny is so worthy ocean. Bring back my. On 
fun with the dance. Let joy be unconfined. No sleep till morn, when youth and pleasure meet to chase the glowing hours with flying feet. Vic, Vic, oh bring back my pony. But once again the arc lights burn, the actors wait, the cameras turn, and round the sun this world of ours has spun its four and twenty hours.